Hey, what's up guys? Tony Teaches Tech here, and today I'm gonna to walk you through the process of setting up a WordPress website on DreamHost shared hosting. Now I've used DreamHost since I think it's 2013. So for quite some time now, I've been a customer with them and I can highly recommend their shared hosting products. So without any further ado, let's look into it. So right here we are on dreamhost.com. Up at the top, we have the option for hosting and shared website hosting. It's their most popular option. Uh, let's scroll down here a little bit and you'll see two different options, shared starter and shared unlimited. We're looking at the three year pricing for this. So let's change that to one year and you'll see the prices go up just a little bit. And the same thing for a monthly, the prices go up just a little bit per month. They, you know, when you have the commitment, you're gonna pay a little bit less per month. Now, this is promotional pricing. So what this says here is that at the end of your year, you're gonna go to the regular rate. I think I'm interested in the shared starter, which gives you one website, one free domain name and unlimited traffic. So let's sign up for that now. And when the sign up page loads here, um, it gives you three options. You can choose a domain later, register a new domain, or if you already have a domain, you have that option too. Um, I think what we're gonna do here is register a new domain. So let's go ahead and see what that process is all about. Uh, because this is just a tutorial, I'm going to type in some dummy domain. Uh, I'm in Bali right now, so let's call this coconut-dh for dreamhost.com. And, yep, the domain is available as we could expect, so that's good. Um, next, they want you to check out, so they're looking at some payment methods up here. You can use a credit card or PayPal. And then there's all the stuff on the other side here, which are, it looks like upsells. So we don't really want any of this stuff. So I'm gonna uncheck a couple of these things. Just the basic plan is what we're interested in. Um, we don't want the emails either, so we'll get rid of that. And the WordPress looks good. Um, let's go ahead and submit the order. Oops, so it looks like we do have to enter our payment information up here. So through the power of video, I'm gonna skip fast forward through that and we'll go ahead and submit the order. Account has been created, billing at it, domain at it. It's looking good. And when this takes us, okay, the order was completed successfully. It's just looking for a password. We'll type one in and continue to your control panel. Now over here, it is setting up our hosting service. So again, through the power of video, we'll speed that up. In reality, this takes about 10 minutes and the setup has completed successfully. So as you can see here, you get a whole bunch of emails sent to you about how your website is now being set up. Uh, if we go back over to the dashboard, you can see this big option here to log into WordPress. So let's go ahead and check that out. Now, I'm not really familiar with this process, what Bold Grid Inspirations is, but I think it's something to help you set up your WordPress website. This is not uh, vanilla WordPress, but we'll go through it anyway. So there's a whole bunch of different themes that you can choose from here. Um, pick whatever you like, but I think the one that caught my eye first was this one at the top, the Cobalt one. It says Build Success. We'll, we'll select that. And yeah, it has a nice big bold title your business blah 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 it's just a test so for me this is fine we'll click next and here I'm just gonna give the name of the website and do not display anything else so this took about a minute um, and unfortunately it took me to a dead page but I realized that if you can just go up here to the address bar and type in your domain name you should see the WordPress installation which is looks like just the 2020 theme here so that looks good. Um, up here at the top, you can click on the dashboard to take yourself to the WordPress dashboard. And in here, you'll see uh, pages, media, blog posts. We wanna add a new blog post. And this is gonna be like our, I guess our hello world blog post. So um, if you're not familiar, that's just like a, a tech thing to do, a software thing to do. Make your first post be a hello world post. So while that's loading, um, we can, uh, I don't even know what this is, so skip, let's skip the setup of that. I, I will say here that there is a, a, a lot of bloat where when you go through WordPress through DreamHost. Um, this is, a lot of this is not vanilla WordPress. So let's just type something in here. This is my first blog 
post. And we'll publish that. And in a few seconds, that will be published. We can then click here on the permalink to view that blog post. And there you have it, our very first blog post on WordPress. That is about it, guys. That is how simple it is to get set up with a WordPress website using DreamHost shared hosting. Uh, like I said in the beginning of this video, um, I can recommend DreamHost because I've been a customer with them since 2013. So that's seven over seven years now that I've been with them. So um, if you have any questions about DreamHost's WordPress website hosting, subscribe to this channel. That's what this channel is all about, helping you guys get your business online, get recognized, and show up in search results. SEO is another big part of this channel. So um, subscribe if that's something that they're interested in. And if you do, I will see you in the next video.